You guys, it's your girl Tatcha, right here on your number one hit music station. And you guys, as promised, I told you guys, I have Uriel right here in the building. Yay. Hey, Uriel, how are you feeling? Wow, wow, what's going on? I'm feeling, how am I feeling? I'm feeling like I'm about to have a therapy session. Unleashing the unleashed. I feel like I'm okay. here with Tasha and I just feel like, I feel like I've made it. I feel excited. No. Uh, I feel like I should call my mom and say, Mom, I just made it. Ah. <laughs> You've been out of the house for how many weeks now? Oh, I've lost track, man. I think Two it's, weeks? I feel like a year. It feels like a year, man. It feels too long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's been about 10 days. So how's everything yeah. been going for you so far, coming out from the house? Oh, how is everything? You know, it's been all over the place. When I first came out, you know, wasn't too happy. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a businesswoman now. So I just said, you know what, I came out, you know, wasn't my time to come out, but I have to make things work. So I've just been into gear, like just moving, 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 pushing this, filming this. I've been all over the place and I'm, you know, trying to move into my new apartment as well. So it's oh, crazy. Beautiful. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Now, talking about, oh, it wasn't your time to come out from the house. Girl. And looking at the jury is supposed to, I mean, like, pull in or leave in the house whoever is giving the most content. You get what I mean? Girl. But in your case, I mean, they voted Ure out. How did that feel? I know you've had so many people ask you this question, but genuinely, how did that feel deep down inside? It's funny, though, because um, on the day I was leaving, on the Sunday I was leaving, I said something to Soma, and I said to Soma, I said to him that you're going to stay here longer than, than I would. And it was so crazy that I ended up leaving that day. But I kind of knew I was going and I was fighting it. I was fighting it. You know, like when you get that negative thought, you're like, ah, I rebuke it. I rebuke it. And I kept rebuking it in my head. And then when I saw Ebuka, and I just knew it. I was just wait. I was just waiting for them to call my name. But I didn't, you know, I just knew something was wrong. It wasn't my time, but I knew I was going. It was just, it was just, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. It wasn't a good feeling. I can't lie. Because I remember walking out and then, um, you know, I had to take off my mic and everything. And I was like, no, is this it? Is this it? It's and really I, happening? They, I, they were like, yeah. And I was like, no, please, no. And they took off my mic. And it, it was, it was crazy, but... It's my fate, and I've accepted it. What can I do? Yeah, but because looking at you, we're giving so much content. Um, like, I'll be looking forward to Ure's diary room session um, because I know she's giving out some very entertaining blunders um, and all of that. But, I mean, you had your time in the house. You had fun. How did it feel going back into Biggie's house for the second time? How did it feel going back into Big Brother house? I think it was amazing because I feel like at this point on my life, I grew so much, you know, I got my new body, working out, you know, doing the whole fit fam. My confidence was 100. Um, I just, I was sure of myself. And I thought, what better way to enter the Big Brother house than, than now? So I just felt like it came at the right time. But three weeks, come on, come on, <laughs> come on, come on. And it's, it's crazy, though, that... I know, like, you know, the show and uh, has a format. And it's a format that, you know, they had to follow at that particular time, which, you know, I respect. But, you know, it, it kind of left a sour taste in my mouth just for somebody. Leko. Yes, I said it with my full chest. Oh, okay. And then for the fact that you carried Leko on your head, you voted for him, you wanted to see him win. Mm -hmm. And what did he do when he had the time to save you? He shot me in my foot. <laughs> he finished me. <laughs> Ah. But, you know, his only one vote could not have saved you, though. That's if the other Jewies had voted against you, you know. Yeah, I think I think the other one was um, Diane or something. I remember, you know, the funny thing is, I remember leaving the stage and I turned like this. And I saw Leko and I saw Teddy. <laughs> Teddy was trying not to look at me. Teddy was keeping his face straight. And I looked like this. And I, just, I, didn't, I didn't even know who the girl was. And I just remember seeing white hair. And I was just looking at the white hair. And she was trying not to look at me, but I was just glaring at her. I was like, you. I'll look, you up, Teggy, I'll, yeah. I'll look you up after this session. Teggy? But I, I found out who it was afterwards and it was like, you know what? Cool, cool, cool. You know, things happen. So we keep it moving. Love. Amazing. You're out of the house now. I mean, you're doing your thing. You're kicking. You're pushing. Yeah, man. I have to ask you, I mean, mm. from the clips you've seen online so far, who would you pick as a top five? My top five, oh man, my top five, CC. That's my, that's my, that's my sister. CC, I would say, um, Baye might enter top five. Um, 
Soma, I would want someone to enter top five. And who else is it? Pere. And I don't I think that's that's it really. I think Why Pere. did you say might when you came to Levi? Do you think Levi is no, banking no. on pity votes, as most people say online? Mm. Because you know this online is important too. You might think, oh okay, what are they saying there? Might not make sense. But sometimes you you use what's going on online to follow up with the conversation of what's going on in the house. No, I mean what I meant by Maya, I feel like she will enter. Ah, uh, Baye is my, is my little sister, and... Do um, you think she's banking on PT votes? I don't think she's banking on it. I just feel like, you know, when I left the house, Baye, like, I, I just felt like Baye kind of, like, did it. First off, she was, you know, the whole party, party, Gen Z thing. And then, you know, when she got the strike, she fixed up. And Baye was showing more of her talent and showing more of... Who Baye is. Yeah, who Baye is and what brands can buy into and the rest of it. And I was like, I loved it. But I just feel like, or maybe the cameras or maybe social media is just picking out, like I saw something online with her and, and Cross and maybe it's just the, the media trying to, you know, change the narrative again on Baye. And I was like, oh, that's not really cool. But I feel like, yeah, she, 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 I think she'll definitely enter because she's been giving content. She's been giving content, whether it's good or bad or whether it's whatever. But she's been giving content. So Baye, CC, um, Soma, um, I think Adekune will enter. And surprisingly, I think Mercy will enter, to be honest with you. Amazing. So you're saying two guys and you're saying three ladies. Okay. I think so. Oh, amazing. I would love to see two guys make it into the top five because so far, hey, the ladies in the house currently are strong. Like, you have to agree with that. Do you yeah, think but I, I think, I, think, I, think I was stronger, though. Who do you think is going to win the show? I think I was stronger, though, it's Tasha. I... Honestly, Tasha. you have no... Tasha, let's go, let's go back have... there. Let's go back to the house now. Pack your suitcase. Let's be going. You have no idea. You were seven contestants back to back. But it's okay. What? Um, it's okay. Uh, no, what what was just... your question, sis? What was your Who question? Who do you think is going to win this season? Ah, it's going to be hard. Ah. Do you know what? Let's go back. I want Neo to be top five. Let, let, let's let's leave it there. But who do I think is going to win? Oh, do you know what? Yeah. I'm you added Neo to this to, to this top five. Is it you being logical or is your heart talking? I'm not being logical. Let me tell you. Stasha, I'm not being logical. You really think Neo will make it to top five? I'm not being logical. It's my heart that is. <laughs> <laughs> you see, this thing called love. Hey, hey, hey. I'm just wishing. Um, I think I think CT might win, you know. The way things are going, CC, CC might win, or ah, because CC has come a long way, man. CC has come a long way. She's, you know, she's got, a, she's got more of a heart, a bigger heart, and she's showing it exactly now. So CC, ah, uh, CC will throw it down, man. And I think that's kind of like what the show is really more about. Like, if you didn't have a chance the first time, you're going in another time. Make sure you do the best. That's or, it. Exactly. Like, show the sides of you people who didn't know about you, all of that kind of stuff. Hmm. Mm. This one is very, very easy. Hey, hey. Kiss, okay. kill, or marry. Oof. Come um, on, let's yeah. do this. Let's do this. I'm ready. All right. So, white money, pere, EK. What? Hash, what? Kiss, kill, oh. or marry? White money, Perry or EK? Oh, you, Ray, you know you're my love. You can't uh. air me on air. You know? oh, I would marry Perry. Okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, I refuse. <laughs> bam, 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 I picked bam. already. You marry right. Perry. Okay. Perry. Who would you oh. kiss oh, and kill? No, I would kiss. Oh. Oh. Anton, this is hard, Tasha. Okay, I won't I won't use the word kill. I would remove. So I would marry Pere. I would kiss White Money. Because he's got fresh breath. His breath is always smelling fresh. It smells like 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 toothpaste. And then I will just put EK to the side because he's my bro. I won't kill him, but I'll just put him to the side because I don't see him that way. No. I don't I don't see white money that way, but he's got nice breath. That's all I can say. Period. Finish. Okay. Brings us to the question. Who is your crush in the house? Of course, we all know who my crush is. Oh, you see? You see? I knew she was going to say Neo. Girl, girl. Oh, my God. Aside to Neo, who is your crush in the house? Um, Because they're really hot boys in the house. I'll tell you who I initially, when I walked into the house, who I found attractive the first time I walked into the house. And this is going to be a shock mm. to everybody. Mm. This I'm ready is for going the shock. to be a shock. So the first person I found attractive before I saw Neo was Adekunle. I'll be honest with you. I said it. <laughs> Hello, are you serious? <laughs> I swear. You know, I looked at him and I was like, oh, he's cute. 
And that was it. And then obviously I saw New Year and I was like, damn! <laughs> That's all the tattoos. I was like, hey! Then I saw the white teeth and the lips. And I was like, hey, mm-hmm. okay. Mm. I did hear. Amazing, amazing. Mm, so hear. if there was no new in the house, it would have been Adekunle. No, 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 no. Because social media will twist your words. Don't Tasha. let Benita catch Tasha, you. No, I did not say it. I said the first person I saw and said, he is good looking is Adekunle. So if there was no Neo, I just saw Adekunle. Okay, I'm, like, okay, I'll probably I'm be with, sorry. Now, what I'll did I say that Perret. Neo did not say? Perret, it's Perret, it's Perret. I beg. Let me do this. <laughs> but Adekunle, I felt, that's, that's the first guy I saw. And I thought, oh, he's good looking. Mm, okay, oh, okay, no. okay. Tasha, Amazing. Uwe, what are you currently up to? Like, what have you been up to oh, coming no. out from the house? And I think your fans are calling in. You guys can call in and say hi to Uwe. Come on. Call me up real quick on 0700 969 Hello, good evening. All righty, you guys, if you want to speak to Uriel, you guys know the numbers to call 0700 969 969 969. Hey, my love, what have you been up to since you oh, came out from the house? I've been doing a lot. My podcast just dropped on Wednesday, which has got mad, mad views, comments. Um, I'm about to open up my restaurant now. I've got a restaurant wow. in Lucky Phase One. Wow. Um, Yep, 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 yep. You know me now. Like, I'm a businesswoman. Businesswoman. My hair store is about to pop as well. I've, I have an online hair store, so I'm doing a physical wow, store. amazing. I'm about to drop um, a fitness line as well. Fam, everything is in a work, man. I'm, I'm working hard. I love that for you. Thank you. Thank Hello, you. good evening. Hi. Hello, good evening. Okay, you guys, before you call me, make sure your your network is very much intact. Let me ask you, do you have any issues with Erica? Uh-uh. How? How did we even reach it? No, yeah, that's the funny thing. So many tweets. Everyone's been saying, oh, Erica had made a tweet about you, or you or, or, said so many stuff about Erica ah. while she was in the house. That, and then, you know, sometimes it could just, anyways, but let's hear from you. Do you have any issues with reality TV star Erica? Tasha, Anna Mayogio, I'm begging you. I don't even know. The only thing was, I was just busy doing my media rounds and they asked me something about per, about Perret and I said it because we all showered together. I wasn't saying it because I was doing anything with, with Perret. Or I, we all showered together. It's, it's a normal thing. And then all of a sudden... I get this 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 message and everybody's tagging me that oh um, Erica is saying this saying that. I'm like she said that I slut shamed her or I body shamed her why would I ever body shame anybody like coming from where I've come from being big you know going for everything I've gone for why would I even put myself in that position so where do you think that misunderstanding is from um, I do not know I don't know and that's why I said to her, look I'm, I'm the kind of person I don't like you know keyboard warriors I'm like yo if you're gonna if you're gonna come and direct a, a tweet or whatever towards me. Please, Use your ad button. At my name. Because me, although I'm a nice person, but I get small shege from my head. Like, I, I love to communicate. And I like to just tell people it is what it is. So at me first. Let's start from there. I have nothing against her. I think she's beautiful. I think she's talented. So for me, it was a shock shot. You know, I was like, you know, don't stop chasing clout, man. Don't chase, don't chase clout on my name. It's not about that time, fam. It's not about that time. All righty. So what you're really saying is if you have beef with me, like, let's talk it out as, like, beautiful two ladies. We're grown women, mean? you know. Yeah, as two Come beautiful on. grown women. Love, love, <laughs> love, love. Love you, Erica, man. Love but you. there's still time for that conversation, Abby. Anytime the conversation is ready to be held, you're oh, ready. I don't know. If she to wants to meet it? me somewhere and tell me, she wants to, I don't know what thing I do, or because someone should help me, because, ha, who John at home, because I'm tired. I'm scared. I'm like, yo, what's in happen? I don't know, man. But shout out to Erica, man. Shout out to you. Yeah, shout out to Erica. I love you. I love you. I love, love you. you. Too, Look in. Now, you're outside of the house, right? You're watching the show. You're seeing clips from the show. What's your honest take on Neo and T Badger's relationship together? Should I really tell the truth? Ah, oh, T Badge is an amazing girl. But I just thought, you know what? I, 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 I just, I wish for her. I wish for her that she would have shown more of herself in the house rather than let Neo be her her narrative in that house. Like, if you if you 
call Tolani and you say Tolani All Stars, like you, we didn't really see much about her personality. And she's talented. She's a DJ. She does so many different things. She knows music from the back of her hands. And I wish we saw more of that instead of the whole narrative being about Neo. You know, because ah, Neo is trending back to back every single day. I would need to know what is Tolani about. You know, like you know, she's a musician. She's a DJ or whatever, she's into music. We need to see more of that, man, and just not hear about Nia all the time. For her own sake, when she comes out of the house now, like, you know, she needs something to bounce off, you know? So everything about her is just basically Nia. So we need to see more. And um, let's just see what happens, you know? I I, I hope she stays longer and changes her direction. <laughs> How are you she, laughing? I'm laughing. Why are you laughing? She can't even hear what we're saying. Do you get what I mean? She's yeah. in the house and she's playing her game. So we can drop <laughs> everything we want to say for all she cares. Is she, she really can a game? Us. I don't think she's playing a game, to be honest with you. I feel like if she was playing a game, she would be a little bit more smarter with the way she handles the Neo thing. If I was playing my game... But you never know where anybody's game is because right now we're talking about Tolani Badge. They're talking about her, true. But is talking about her enough to win the show? But it might be a lot enough to keep you long in the house. Yeah, but we're talking about winning the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You love to sing, Uriel. Do you love to sing? I love to sing. Give us 15 I seconds of you sing singing. every time, in the amazing, shower, amazing. in the other room, in the kitchen. I love it. Give us 10 seconds of a beautiful voice. Sing anything. Oh, what can I sing? Um, anything. You see, I'm sitting here with Tasha. She's giving me vibes. Her name is Tasha with her cute smile. Yes. <laughs> beautiful voice. I was trying to freestyle that. Come on, yes. Beautiful voice. And she's she was just freestyling. Not like I she has a script. I was just freestyling. Back. Right Come in front on. of her. Did you hear what Bonaboy said? What did he say? You know, he has a new album out. And um, he, he's been having a couple of interviews where he said... Um, Afrobeats is really a bunch of nothing and what artists are singing is doesn't really have substance in it. Did you hear that? Did you watch that? Fam, I didn't even know, but wait, what? How? Rewind? What? Are oh God, I wish I could play it, but maybe I would play it. I would play it till everybody gets to hear. Oh, okay, so you missed all that. You know, you know, Ural has been very, I've been under a very rock, busy. busy. But wait, so what did people say? Like the tweets, so, you know, what are they saying? Yeah, so basically what he said was, oh, Afrobeats is just songs and doesn't have substance in it. It has no meaning. Jeez. And that was what he said. Um, so maybe he might be making sense. Just maybe. Do you understand what I mean? But I, I just think the avenue where he said it, do you get what I mean? Like, Bonaboy has got to that state where he doesn't need to impress white or black media. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Like, if he drops the album, it's still going to blow up. Like, it's a Grammy material. So, like, you're not being put under tension to say certain things. What you that, to say, Do you yeah. get what I mean? Yeah. Yes, we know, okay, Afrobeats, we know how they sing, all of that kind mm, of stuff. Mm, mm. But looking at you as an Afrobeat pioneer, like you're out there, you're representing us, you're representing blacks, you're representing Afrobeat, you're representing Africa. Mm. And then you say something like this to people that, do you get what I mean? To people that are embracing mm, Afrobeats. Mm, 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 do you get what I mean? Mm, mm. You know... Five, ten years ago, Afrobeat wasn't this big. It wasn't. Like right now, you travel to the UK, Everybody, you're hearing, do you get what I mean? Like white, normal, very regular people listening Fam. to Bonner Boy, they're Fam. listening to David, or they're listening to Whiskey. Fam. Fam. And then watching you in that interview say that. Uh, that's that's uh, that's a hard pill to swallow, man, because I love Bernard Boy. Like, I really do. You know, I love him. I think he's vibes. He's, everything about him is just sweet. I didn't even watch it. I've literally been under a rock. I've literally been filming back to back. But it's crazy, though. But I feel like maybe the direction he was coming from, please don't come for me, because I'm just, I'm trying to <laughs> interpret what Bernard Boy was saying. So maybe he's trying to say that maybe... It's like certain, not like certain artists, like maybe the sound is recycled. Not saying like like the artists we love, but I'm just saying like, you know, people that come out, it's the same kind of vibe. Maybe 
They should come differently. I don't know, man. I don't know what's... In, I don't know what's... I and don't then know. you know it would have been different if he was back home saying it, like maybe on Wazobia or just one yeah, of our yeah. media back home. It, yeah. Do you get what I mean? But having to say that out there to this same white people trying to embrace Afrobeat. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Because there was once a time where BET would give out awards to black artists backstage. Mm, 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 mm. And not front stage. Do you get what I mean? Um, exactly. But right now we have our whisk kids coming on stage to like. Do you get what I mean? Big like platform. Ex- Huge. Exactly. That's because everybody's loving Afrobeat. Pulling their way, Embracing yeah. Afrobeat. And then you say something like. But anyways, you guys, I make sure you, you go Burner stream. Call exactly. Me. Make sure you 022-544. go. Zero two two five four four. Well, what should we expect? from you I know you have your cooking show coming up um, you have movies coming up what else you expect what else you listen, expect listen the only thing I'm expecting is Tasha I'm challenging you to the gym 100 kg squat listen Tasha <laughs> let's do this we're yes. pulling weight. Yes, let's do this. <laughs> Next week, Tuesday, you guys, trust me, I'm going to make Cool FM upload the video so you guys um, see it. We're um, hitting the gym. Yes. Big time. We need to take all of our anger to the gym. Come on. Yes, sweat it out, man. Yes. Big seven. That's what we're doing, man. Ting exactly. Ting. We're yes. doing big URL and big, big Tasha. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What should we expect on your podcast? Oh, For my anybody God. trying to tune into your podcast, what should we expect? Where should we find your podcast? You know. Sell yourself, business Let me sell myself for. Let me sell myself. So my podcast is just, you know, general gist. You know, I just dropped the first one on Wednesday and it was mad. It trended. You know, the usual comedy, the gist and music. I've got a, b- a bit of music in there. We have a, a trivia game in there as well. It is different. It's unique. So... You know, I'm going to post it on my pages on YouTube and it's called Diary Spills with URL. Diary Spills with URL. It's, it's a vibe. Mad vibe. Mad, 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 mad. Love so it. So they can check out the podcast on YouTube, on Twitter, mm-hmm. on Instagram. Everywhere. Okay, you guys, if you need the tea, if you miss Ura's diary room session, I yes. mean, she has something to um, cover up for that. Something um, even much more interesting. She has no filter in her mouth. Nothing. Ura fans, call at my, my name. At it. Call my phone lines. Call my phone lines. Ura fans, you guys, the number to call is 0146571176. Call and speak to your love. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. What is your name? Bukola from Ajebunle. Are you calling to speak to Iwe? Yes, of Amazing, she can hear you. Go on, love. Good evening, Iwe. Hi, good evening. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. Good, good, Hi, good. Ah, oh, you know what? I'm better now I'm talking to you. I'm happy I'm talking to you. I'm hearing your voice. I love you too. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. So I be a go. Thank you. I do miss her. Not just you. I miss her too. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you for calling in. You guys calling to speak to Ariel real quick on 0700 969 969 Call me. Hello, good evening. Hello. You guys, check your phone lines before calling. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hi, can you turn down your radio? I can hear myself. I know I have a lovely, My sweet name voice. Is Chisom. Hi, Chisom. I'm fine. Uriel, oh. I want to speak to Uriel. Uriel is here. Hey, Uriel can hear you. what's up? Hello, Uriel. I love you. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm speaking with you. Uriel. Oh. I love your, your diary room section. It's oh. amazing and funny too. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Isom. I appreciate you, man. Shout out yeah, to you, man. Bye. Big up to you. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hi, what is your name? My name is Ayo. Hi, Ayo. Wagwa. Ayo, you want to say hi to Uriel? Yes, I'm Shoot your shots. She can hear you. And you guys know Uriel is single too, and she's so beautiful. Trust me. Yes, she's very beautiful. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. So say something to her. She can I'm hear happy you. I'm talking to you, Tata. Okay. I'm so happy I'm talking to you. You have to keep calling every Friday. I love you so much. Mwah. All right. <laughs> Hello, Uriel fans. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good evening, love. Hi, good evening. Hey, love. You want to speak to Uriel? Yes, I do. Amazing. She can hear you. Go on, love. Hey. Hi, Uriel. Hi, my love. How are you? 
Okay, I just wanted to tell you that you have this amazing life about you. And don't don't even bother that you left the house early. Because I just know that you're going to do like really great things. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And I believe thank I'm going to do great things. I'm already doing it. Thank you so much, my love. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. It. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hey, you want to speak to Uriel? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Justin. Uh, oh, hey, okay, Uriel is on. She can hear you. What I do you have to say you. to Uriel? Hi, Uriel, where go? Hey, wow, wow. what's up, Kedu? Uh, Uriel, your day is, is mad, like, it's Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so I much. Love I love you. Please, you say English, please. I have to say your... Pick up, pick up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Shout out to you, man. Shout, Shout out. out to you guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you for calling in and speaking to Uriel. Uriel, in 20 seconds, what do you have to say to your fans while they're still trying to call us? Oh. You guys, the number to call is 0700-969-969-969. Hello, good evening. All righty, Uriel, in 20 seconds. What do you say to your beautiful fans out there rooting and praying day in, day out for you, Uriel? I know I can be what I want to be. If, if I, I work, work hard, hard enough, enough, yes, I'll be where I, I want to be. And that is on period. This uh, nothing will ever change the fact that I'm, I'm going to be a superstar and I'm a shining light. And that is it, period. And I thank God for everything. Period with a T. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hello, good evening. Good evening. You're on the Big Friday show. What is your name? My name is Jonathan. Jonathan. Jonathan, we have Uriel right hey. here. What do you have to say to Uriel? I just want to say I love her so much. Oh, Jonathan, thank you so much. I love you too. You're so sweet. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. No ready, you real. We're, we're signing out in about Aww. 60 seconds. And trust I me, go. I don't, honestly, I don't want you to go either. Mm. Hello. Hello. Good, Good evening. evening. You have Hi, 10 Uriel. seconds. Say something real quick to Uriel, okay? Hi, Uriel. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. I really miss you. I miss your Oh, thank and you. I love you. I love you too, my girl. I love you so much. Thank you for supporting me. Love you. I'm very happy to hear your voice. And I'm happy to hear yours. Vibes. Thank, thank you. you. Big vibes, big vibes. Thank you. All right, oh, you guys should carry this support to social media. Because Blow up her followers like crazy. I want to be tomorrow. I want to be 7 million. And she's on TikTok. So you guys, make sure you follow URL across social media platforms. Instagram, Twitter, um, Threads, YouTube. Everywhere, TikTok, everywhere, everywhere, really. I love you guys so much. We need to head back to the music. Coming up is Like Ice Spice. Oh, my God. Uriel is ending this two-hour session with you guys, but she's not uh, ending it with me. Yes. She's my girl for life. We yes. continue this via water. Yes. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Period. <laughs> All right, Uriel, say bye to your Love people. you guys. Take care. Big ups. Big ups, my people.